be on Mars tomorrow. tomorrow. Someone that's on Mars, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick yeah. Lamar. Let me say the name again. <coughs> Kendrick Lamar <laughs> is back. I did the reaction. Shout out to everybody that watched the reaction. 100,000 views. Yeah, 100,000 yeah, views on overnight. You on your shit. Bro, I had to. I was one of the yeah, first Yeah, but see, reactions. that's what you got to catch it. That's what I'm right saying. Right away. Right yeah. away. Bro, I was leaving uh, Mother's Day dinner. I got the notification because I'm have I'm subscribed to this channel ever since yeah, he's had a same, channel. Same. And I got the bell, so I get the notifications. So I got notified. New Kendrick Lamar. It said the heart part five. I already know. I know the series. So I'm like, oh, this was already rumored. I'm like, it's real. I literally parked the car on the way, leaving the, the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I told my girl, car, listen, kid. hold up. One second. Let me park. He said, babe, get I gotta the fuck out the car. I got I to make sure this is real. <laughs> let me make sure this is real. I got to plan what's next. If this is real, I checked it. It's real. And then I'm like, all right, I'm going to take you home. I'm gonna, I got to react. I'm going to drop you off. I got to react. How long does that take you to react? So it depends, right? Like, if I have everything in the car, battery's already pre-charged. I have the memory cards ready. Then... It could be literally to start up, it'll be 30 seconds. I go do a, do a quick test, and then I just start it, right? But a lot of times, especially now at the rate I've been filming, it's more memory, cards, memory cards might be already filled, and it's like I got to make sure I have enough space. The batteries might be dead and shit. But I'm talking about the actual review The time. reaction? So yesterday yeah, re I, reaction filmed, time. I filmed uh, it was a nine-minute video, and I probably lasted 15 minutes filming. But a lot of times also is because the video might crash, internet might thing. So there's a lot of dead footage. So it's the I just first cut out. genuine reaction. The first genuine reaction. Like you didn't listen yes, to the, yes. you didn't watch the video 100%. and then, and then no, yeah, yeah, 100%. so you were like, oh shit, 100%. this is real. I'm not watching yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. it. Yeah, okay, okay. hundred percent. That's the best, in my opinion, that's the best way to do it because yeah, yeah, yeah. I also catch it raw and it's like afterwards something might be like, oh, people discover things, but it's like, it's not a raw reaction. Like I wasn't going to pretend like. That's the Marvin Gaye sample. I didn't know it was yeah, Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah. But then people on Twitter later on told me like, oh, that was a Marvin Gaye sample. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But to me, it was just the raw reaction, right? Yeah. And then something like this is like made for reaction, literally, because when you watch the video, it's a deep fake music video, right? Yeah. People know what deep fakes is. They go viral all the time. But this music video, when you're watching it, it's not promoted as deep fake. It's just a music video. I yeah. click it. And then right as I'm reacting, Wait a minute, his face just changed into OJ. OJ, OJ Simpson. Simpson. Then Kanye. And I'm like, Kanye. Kobe. Then Nipsey. Kobe, Nipsey. Crazy. Then Jesse Smollett. I'm like, uh, whoa. Let's, this is amazing. Let's, let's talk about that list. Where did Jesse Smollett come in from? Like, you got all these iconic deep fakes. You couldn't pick somebody else. <laughs> Right, yeah, because yes, yeah, yeah, true. I like, would think say, about it. I would say Jesse Kobe. and OJ are like the most like, controversial ones. OJ, OJ still like that's still like a legendary thing, like because yeah. he's a black man who got acquitted for killing a white woman. Like, yeah, that's kind of the opposite. That's the wild. one time that that, hap that that ever happened. You know what I'm trying to say? If the glove don't fit, you gotta quit. Kid, you know, kid. And then you got like, what was it? Kobe, Nipsey, OJ, Jesse, Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> Literally, when he says the bipolar line, and then Kanye's face comes, and then Jesse Smollett, kid. Yeah. yeah, I I don't remember the. Exact what are we doing? One. I don't remember. The I think exact they ran one. out of people, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Fuck <laughs> it, throw Jesse in there." Throw throw his dumb ass <laughs> I, in there. I, mean, I don't Fuck remember it, throw the Jesse exact in line, there. But like when it switched to his face, like it it, it kind of was like, "All oh, right, get it." Like, yeah, because that's why I said in the reaction, it was like every time the face switched. Kendrick's it song a story, is a universal yeah. track. I interpreted it as the hypocrisy of culture. Yep, mm -hmm. and especially specifically black culture and what we've been going through since. He dropped, right? Because yep. since he dropped last time, the world has been upside down, but we Those haven't heard from Kendrick. Mm -hmm. But now he's like, let me drop this song about the culture and the hypocrisy of the culture. And then you show faces of people that during ever, the line... Ever since he dropped, yeah. also, that's what's happened. That's what's happened. The yeah, most, yeah, the yeah, most yeah. recent one, Will Smith. So I oh, was yeah, like, and Will yeah, Smith. Smith Will Smith. Yeah, Bro, now you really... Why is Jesse Smollett there, though? Come on. <laughs> yeah. But then because, the Will Smith one was it, smooth. It was, it was yeah. big during the time, though. Yes. It and it still is. Yeah, Jesse yeah. Smollett's a rapper now. You didn't know? Oh, God. You gotta get that feature. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Jesse That's Smollett crazy. dropped the track uh, last That's month. Crazy. But but think about think about how, how you know, how bad things gotta be for you to, to even... To be on Empire, right? You're on Empire. You do yeah. your thing. Why even do like what was no, no, done? No, bro, I hate, I hate him. Me and um John Hope, you know John Hope, obviously, I have an inside joke with him all the time because we talked about it when it first happened. And recently on the podcast he was on, 
when Jesse had the trial again and then he was crying in court, the whole situation. So it's such like a, bro, it's, it's horrible. Like that man is like, but I think that's the purpose of him putting the face. I would have to revisit a song, but it, it aligned either hypocritically or literally to a higher extent, whatever he was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when he did the Will Smith one, it was smooth. He said something about literally how like Will Smith said in his speech. Or something like, like, um, uh, like, um, fuck. He said something like how Whisper said it in his speech, like, um, like you just, um, your back is against the wall and like literally you fighting for something and then you, you know, literally like a line from his speech. And I was like, oh shit, that's perfect. Like right there, a line, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But then that gave me the idea if we want to date the song, when was it created? Had to be recent because if you are doing yeah. that pun, literally either intentional too with the Will Smith shit, you're paying uh, homage to that. And he that talks, was recent. He talks to Nip's brother. From the face yeah, of Yeah, shout out to Sam. Which I thought Black was Sam. Like, I thought was like a, a teetering line of, I don't know, that's like, that's very risky. It might, it might be close to home, right? It's like, it's wow. It's very risky. Yeah. And I saw that online. Like, people, didn't, know, Some people didn't like that. It was kind yeah, of offended. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, you're going to get a 50-50 on that. Yeah. I personally would have definitely second-guessed it. Like, should I be talking to his brother? Like, about like you don't really know what that relationship was like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily have done that. Yeah. But... It's Kendrick, man. Like it's at art. this point, it's art. It's people art. are gonna hate you it or love it, and that's the purpose of that art to be either it, hate it, or love. It makes a reaction, and that's all we're trying to get out of you. Yeah, yeah. you and know what I'm Kendrick saying. Whether it's good or bad, you still you still reacting to it. Yeah, and Kendrick and Nipsey were had the close ties, and Nipsey passed away, but we never heard from Kendrick, right? And it's like we don't need to, cause like, bro, we don't need you to tweet. Oh, rest in peace, Nip. We know that you're going through it behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was your boy, right? You Even if he together. wasn't, it's n- who, who nobody cares? Business. Maybe he didn't know the dude. Maybe yeah. he did. Maybe like people don't know. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. What those relationships are really like. Exactly. And and especially me, being, imagine I. Right, so like this is this is the best way I could describe the industry. Yeah. Imagine, like these kids are the most popular kids in school. Yeah. And you just joined the school, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you're like, damn, I really want to hang out with these guys. But. You know you gotta be you gotta you gotta step it up to be to get th- their, their attention in a sense, right? You finally become best friends and you realize that they're the shittiest people in the whole school. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about the industry. I worked ten years plus to get into a room that is full of fake people, hundred percent. That is full of of just vultures and hypocrisy. And it's so all much. Time high. You know, what I'm trying to say people really just trying to make money, like. It's so much. It's really like a pit, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I saw it like a paradise. And now I see it and it's like a it's like a prison. Yeah. You got to survive in this bitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You here now. <laughs> yeah. You got your Good luck. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, can either yeah. go to the hole or you can run this bitch. Yeah. That's facts. Kendrick went to the hole for six years and now he's back out and everybody like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman and is his here. hands like this, crazy, yeah. and he's swinging like this. He don't give a fuck, bro. Raw. I love Drake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when when Kendrick hits, it's a little different because it's more calculated. Drake is more seen, more visible. Yeah, more gotta stay brand. hot, gotta stay relevant. Yeah, he's more. You he know, said he's it. more. He said it. Yeah, he's. You know what I'm saying? Ken- Kendrick is more like he probably had a similar experience as me. He probably came in and was like, yeah. Fuck this. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back when I feel like it. I don't really need it. Especially 100%. as successful as he is. And now he's going independent because this release... Oh, he isn't. Yeah, this, this is This release is, is going to be the last one on TD, and then he's going to go PG Lang. And I'm not even sure if he has a deal with any major lo- label. He not might yet. for distribution. But Drake, as of now, Drake just got a football straight. deal. Yeah, Drake just signed for like $500 million. Drake just got a football deal. But you know what? He put, he put all his time in under cash money, making very minimum of, of what he was generating. Yeah. And... That's his. That's his. That's his win right there. So congratulations to Drake. It's Got very that true. Deal. It would have been dope though. Independent. I really was hoping he would have. I mean, done I it. don't even think he needed a label for anything. But anything. I'm telling you right now, that split is probably nothing though. Like you got to understand, five hundred million doesn't mean he gave away all of his publishing and yeah. all, all of this or all of that. It could be a 70 30, but you give me 500 million for 30 percent. Like, it could still this be crazy majority independent. Yeah. And I think it's something along the lines. I'll let you get a piece of this, nigga. This piece is mm-hmm. 500 million. No, I think it's oh, you want the pie? <laughs> we don't even got a price for that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, at that point where Drake is, yeah. Yeah. That pie is, is over a billion dollars. If you want the, the merchandising, the, the touring, the album sales, the streaming, 
Oh, that's over a billion. Don't even talk to me if you ain't got a billion. Straight up. Bro. Are you kidding me? Last time he dropped, people probably his most hated album, and that shit damn near went platinum in one week. But but that's the so one week. Let me tell you. Let me tell you where the streaming right. money doesn't really play out a lot, right? But over time, it makes the money. But mm-hmm. let me also tell you where that where that's an advantage to the artist. I could tell you right now, yo, my album is the craziest album in the world. Mm. I drop it Friday. You go listen to it. The shit is. I'm singing. Any mini money mo and mm. old McDonald, right? <laughs> you like the tracks whack, but I'm like, but well, you played it. Yeah, you, you already play, played yeah. it. So rappers like Drake and Kendrick and 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 people that are anticipated can go off platinum off curiosity. That's true. Very true. Oh, it's curiosity. Mm. Very true. How many people are gonna bump that Kendrick album the moment it drops twelve oh one? You know how many streams it's gonna get at twelve oh one? It's gonna break apps. It's gonna break apps. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And sure. nobody even knows what it sounds like. Yeah. Before you buy the album at the store and you tell him, don't buy that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So it kind of is different than the physical sales. Yeah. Streams, you can literally go platinum off curiosity. It's very true. I like that because I was thinking about it the other day where the idea is the evolution of streams. People don't understand back in the day before the streaming era, someone obviously literally had to go physically buy your fucking CD yeah. without hearing a song from it yet. So they're buying it. So you're making that sale. So, yeah. they could listen to that shit once, think it's ass, they bought it. Yeah. Streams, it really defines, like, okay, are you still here? People Because people got to play you consistently. That's true. That's true, too. As well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, there's, like, a double-edged sword with it because if it was back in the day where people would just go out and buy it, which I do but have back, a theory, Kendrick back do in it. The day, Kendrick back is, in the day, do it this Friday. the rollouts were different because back in the day you had... Four singles with videos on radio mm. before that album dropped. Yeah. yeah. So half the time you heard half the album. That is true. Before it did drop. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you heard those singles. A lot of promotion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was Coming a, out. A, people were going to invest in it because it's like this is yeah. a proper rollout. Like just like Kendrick, right now, when's drop. this album drop? Friday? Friday. Friday? Friday yeah. What's Friday. today? Monday. 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 There's a single right there. There's your yeah. preview. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. That's all I need. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be there Friday. But they say it's not going to be on the album. That's it's not, not even going to be on it. Okay. Because so usually they're not, right? The, the, heart, the, the heart, heart series. Yeah, the the first one been. was on the Kendrick Lamar EP, I believe. But usually these are their own thing. They live on their own, right? But this might be so successful, which it is so far, that he might literally. Yeah, but he's on. also not thirsty. He might. He don't give a fuck. Might not he's either. dropping a double-sided album. Okay. Two albums, right? Mr. Morale and The Big Steppers. It's two complete years. albums, supposedly. Yeah. What the fuck are we going to get? But Love I do it. have a theory that oh, that would be crazy if he does do it because he's showing like a disc and shit. So I'm like. Is this motherfucker wanna p- gonna try to pull something where you're gonna have to go and buy it in person and shit? Some, some Whoever shit. does that again, Kanye, is be Kanye, breaking. Kanye the changed the way things are happening in that sense because of the stem player. The stem player shit. I and, got one over and there. Bilbo, on the table. Was, Bilbo was like, no. Yeah. Bilbo was like, but that's that's bullshit mm-hmm. because it's it's considered a bundle in a sense, right? Because you buy the stem player, you get the album. That's why you gotta sell the album and give away the stem player. Mm. The app. I'm sorry, I'm giving away too much juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, we gotta cut so, that one so, out. That was, so a, that was a, that's a free gem. So with me, my like my next my next series of projects coming out, mm-hmm. they're NFTs, mm. but they're not like you don't have to go and buy Ethereum and like join the NFT world. Like what I'm doing is, I'm selling the album, you get a free NFT, right? Mm. That NFT is tied to the streams. Mm. So every time you stream the album, you make the money. Wow, you get it because. If I sign to a label, right, I'm yeah. going to get an advance, and they're going to take the revenue. They're going to take the publishing, right? So I said, why not give the publishing to the fans? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my fans the opportunity, like you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put out a single. You buy the single, you get the NFT. That's a piece of the, the revenue, uh, on some, on some Gary the v ownership. Shit. So now That's you smart. can buy 10 singles. Mm-hmm. You can buy 100 singles, depending on how much ownership you want of that song. Now, every time that song streams, you can see it in real time, the money going up of the NFT. It's going to be the first NFT that's backed by an action. NFTs are up and down. You don't know what the fuck's happening. Yeah. My shit's going to be, every time I, that song streams that you paid for, that you got an NFT for, the stream money goes into the NFT, so you make the money. Mm-hmm. So now, then that's going to change the way you listen to music. At work, let's say, you, you know you're making money off the song. Why not stream it on mute? Yeah, you can stream it on mute <laughs> and repeat. That's genius. Because you know you're making the money, but what does that do for me? For one, it gives me the advance because the fans are buying it up front. Yep. So now I don't have to wait for stream money that, to accumulate. 
So now that gives me an advance for my next project. So now the label is now the fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They take the revenue. The label is going to take that revenue anyway, right? I think you're giving them too much, bro. I don't know. So <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, I'm... Well, I'm telling you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dropping gems. All right, all right, all right. There's all right. diamonds on the floor. Forget it then. <laughs> but, no, but you know, that's an interesting given, idea. That's, yeah, that's given, a it's given, idea. It's yeah. given the, I'm making the the fans my label. So instead of signing a major deal, I'm signing a major deal with the with the streets. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. And this was crazy. It's like someone takes that concept. And what like does that do for my numbers? Oh, go crazy. It's, it's going to go insane. It's going to go crazy. Because, because you're creating hamster wheels, natural hamster wheels throughout the fucking and and, world. and and if you checked if you check your, your shit and it's not going up enough, then go stream the song. Yeah. You got me to do. Right, yeah. <laughs> you, you control your how much you make. You tell your people, it, yo, yeah. play that record because I got I got ownership. I'm and gonna, I'm gonna do it with songs because then I'm with a label. I got to give away the publishing for everything. Yeah, and I could choose what I want to do with the fans. Yo, I'm gonna do this one with the fans. Mm. Now nah, I'm gonna drop this one regular. I'm gonna do this one with the fans. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's genius. So, Imagine someone of a Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to. Nah, but. The, you give you don't understand the, 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 the blueprint. I don't fuck. <laughs> I did not get permission for this section to air of the NFT. He did it first. <laughs> so if someone does it after, this is where it started. Facts. That's all we got to say. That's all we got to say. So, uh, dang, I just lost my train of thought. But <laughs> That's good. That's yeah, God no, telling no, you. The, but the amount, that, the amount, of, the amount of press I'm going to go on is really like a big fuck you to everybody because that, yeah. like, it's going to create a lot of conversations with why I did it, how I did it. But it's gonna work, and I'm, I I'm love excited. That. Yeah. I love that. I'm, I'm excited, excited for you for too, that. as well. Oh, yeah. That's amazing, I'm bro. For that. So overall, when it comes to the song, you obviously listen to the, uh, the song, watch the video. How do you feel about it? What's your impression of the record and the anticipation now for this album? I think it's it's the Kendrick that we expected, and what I mean by that is not like in terms of style; it's just in terms of of greatness. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it just wasn't something regular. Like you don't expect something regular from Kendrick, right? Yeah. Especially after so long. Yeah. That first record has is important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very important. First perception. Look at um Bob, Bobby Schmurda. He came out of jail. Facts. He was at a high praise and the lack of delivery on the music had people like, eh, I don't know about this dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And now he's dropping singles, doing back, and now people are like, Okay, okay. You know what I mean? That's so like it all yeah. it it's it's all a snowball effect in, in getting that and getting that reaction. So yeah. in him delivering that kind of stuff that's gonna that's thought provoking, that's you know, conversational, mm-hmm. that's everything like that with an album dropping Friday, numbers are gonna go crazy. Hell yeah. And I think it was great. I think it was well played. I think it was it was it was amazing. It wasn't it wasn't of the norm. And it was They gonna love me for my ambition.